All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem two to the power of 24 minus one. So for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as two to the power of 12 times two minus one. So all I did was I rewrote 24 as 12 times two. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And now 1, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12 and b is 1. So I get 2 to the power of 12 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 1. Now from here, we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 12. Well, 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1,024. So this means that 2 to the power of 11 is equal to double of 1,024, which is 2,048. And 2 to the power of 12 is equal to double of 2,048, which is 4,096. So now I have 4,096 plus 1 times 4,096 minus 1. 4096 plus 1 is 4097 and 4096 minus 1 is 4095. Now how would I solve this? Well what most people would do is try to solve this by using the basic multiplication method but this takes way too long. So a better way to solve this is actually to rewrite this as 4,000 plus 97 times 4,000 plus 95. Now because 4,000 has so many zeros in it, it's much easier to solve this problem. So I'm going to be solving this problem by distributing. Or what I can also do, which is an easier method, is to rewrite 4,097 as 4,100 minus 3 times 4100 minus 5. And this is also another way to rewrite this, this time subtraction instead of addition. But now notice how we have 3 times 5, which is much easier to solve than 97 times 95. So now I'm going to distribute my 4100. So I get 4100 squared minus 5 times 4100. And then now I have minus 3 times 4,100 minus 3 times negative 5. So now 4,100 squared is equal to 41 squared plus 4 zeros. 41 squared is 1,681, so I'm just going to add four zeros to the end there. And then minus five times 4,100, I can just say this is five times 41, which is 205, and then add two zeros. Minus three times 4,100, which is one, 123, and I can add two zeros. Minus three times negative five, which is positive 15. So now from here, I get 16,810,000 minus 20,500 minus 12,300, which is equal to negative 32,800 plus 15. Now, a negative number plus a positive number is the same thing as 30, 32,800 minus 15, 
which is 32,785. So now I have 16,810,000 minus 32,785. And this is equal to, I'm actually going to write this like this. So 10 minus five is five, nine minus seven is two, nine minus eight is one, nine minus two is seven, 10 minus three is eight, eight minus one is seven, and I have six and one. So 16,787,125 is my final answer to this problem. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of 3. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula, and it states that if I take the W of something in the form a times e to the power of a, then this is equal to a. So this is the W Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the W Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form a times e to the power of a. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and i have this times ln x is equal to ln 3. so now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the W Lambert function on both sides, I get W of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. And this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the W on both sides. So I get W of ln 3. And then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to W of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you.